Fuel tanks and cargo trucks make the bulk of traffic on the Kampala Jinja Highway. Their deliveries can take hours or even days, with poor road surfaces and traffic jams slowing down the movement of merchandise. We are by our clients, the more we deliver their goods, the more they stand chances of losing customers. Because sometimes their customers, they can uh, go to their maybe shops and they find that their stock is over. And it is all about because of the delay of the trucks traveling from Jinja to Kampala or from Mombasa to Kampala. The Kampala Jinja Highway forms a section of a road network that connects other East African countries. It's also a vital commercial link to parts of the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Over 90% of the region's imports and exports move by road through this highway. The volume of traffic on this highway is growing every year, with over 50,000 vehicles using this 70-kilometer stretch every day. It is hoped that with the express highway, a journey that currently takes two hours could be cut in half. Designs for the expressway have been finalized and construction is expected to begin next year. The Ugandan government has opted for public-private partnerships to fund the construction. We are progressing. As I said, we should float these tenders around February, March, and then we can, uh, the bids can be returned in, uh, in June. We should have a contractor and a contract by the end of 2015, and the, the construction should take us about two, four years. Uganda has gradually increased its paved roads with at least 4,000 kilometers of an existing 28,000 kilometers of road now tarmacked. But the country needs more than roads. Building roads alone will not make this country grow. We need that support of the rail transport system. We need to take advantage of our water transport system for us to drive goods, not only in Uganda, but in re the region as, uh, as a whole. The current roads cannot sustain the traffic, uh, and we will need that railway as quickly as possible for us to move to the next level. Uganda is prioritizing roads when it comes to national budgets. It is expected that two more express highways will be completed over the next three to five years. Leon Sanyange, CCTV, Kampala.